This is 2023, Thompson on 2, paper 2, ASL question 7, which is like the first question of section B. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward, a pretty standard optimization question. Uh, so we have what? We have the volume of the cylinder. So I guess that's the tricky part, is the volume of just the, vol uh, just the cylinder part not the whole thing right so the volume of a cylinder is pi times the radius square radius is x times the height and it's 41 skip until be 41 so find the surface area of the whole thing so this is for the whole thing so you will need the surface area of a sphere so they add up to be a full sphere the surface area of a sphere is 4 times pi times the radius squared. Skipping in the former bullet, so it doesn't matter. And then the curved surface area of the cylinder, I think that's also given. So it's 2 pi r times h. But from here, h is really 41 over pi x squared. So we'll sub it in. So it's 4 pi x squared plus 2 pi x times 41 over pi x squared. So the pi cancel out, uh, one of the x also cancel out, and obviously 2 times 41 is 82, so we get what they want. So they want to find either the maximum or minimum of it by asking us to differentiate. So 81 over x, over x is the same as x to the power of minus 1. So we can differentiate that by dropping the power. So it's negative 82 times x to the power of negative 2. You take one away from the power. Plus, 4 is a coefficient, so we stay in front. Pi is also just a number, so we just stay in front. And differentiate x squared is 2x. So you get, what, 4 times 2, so it's 8x. 8 pi x, right? So that's bi. Then to find the maximum or minimum, you make the derivative equal to zero and then solve a. Uh, this is where you cannot use a calculator, even though it's paper two, because they want the exact value. If you just end solve this, your calculator would probably give you some ugly number. So the way to do it is this. This is a minus. Uh, this is a minus. So we can add to the other side. So we have a pi and x equal to 82x to the power of negative 2. x to the power of negative 2 is over x squared. Then you multiply. So it's x to the power of 3. So x to the power of 3 is 82 over 8 pi. I guess I'll simplify it by a 2. And so x is the cubit. Then they want, what do they want? The second derivative. So the first derivative is really this. We will differentiate that again. So we drop the negative two to negative 82. So that's what, times two. 164, negative 3, plus 8 pi. Use the second derivative to justify as a minimum. That means substituting the x value plus x cube root of 41 over 4 pi to the power of negative 3. So you can just type that to the calculator. Because the cube and the cube root cancel out, plus a pi, so it's positive. Therefore, it was a minimum. Therefore, minimum. 
Find the minimum surface area of the solid. Oh, you're sub in the value. So, uh, when you, the question is uh, quite straightforward. For the typical of a optimization question. Oh, uh, well, whatever that is. Then question eight. Um, well, it gives you an answer to the key. For the bunny question, right? So, they got some money recently. They have option of how to receive the earning. In both options, you receive a payment of the first day of each one for three years. Each payment is 4200 First payment, so option B, first payment is 1500 In each month, which follows, is 4% more. Find the total that you get. Uh, you get it for three years, for every month, so times three times twelve. So that's what. I'm option B would be. Option B would be a geometric sequence, right? U one is, thousand five hundred. For every month, you get 4% more, so the common ratio is 1 plus 4%, so that's 1.04. And the number of terms will similarly be 3 years for 12 months, uh, so like 36. Alright, so the total sum is SN would be u1 times 1 minus l to the power of n over 1 minus l. So, we will put that to the calculator. AI, they say what? 2DP, so 116397.47. So somehow option B. Oh, it's less. Quite a lot less. I thought option B eventually would have more, right? It's like it starts less. So I was thinking like. Well, who would choose it? Unless the total at the end is more. Okay, never mind. The other dude gets some money, invest in an account. For interest of 5%, compound monthly. Hmm. Interest is added at the last day of each month. Find an expression after any. I think it's just a compound interest formula. So uh, the formula is kind of provided in the formula bullet. It's compound monthly, so the k is 12. And after n, so it's 12n. And the, dude, and the first dude actually selects option B. Mm. We serve the first payment of 1st January, invest on the same day. Find the total value on the last day on the sixth month. Uh, why, why do we do this? This has no meaning at all. Um, so for the first dude is a geometric sequence. 
for six months for the second dude just compound interest for six months so six and we uh, take it easy I guess Right. For CR. What's the minimum number of complete months so that the total value is at least that? Well, so it's really just this, but you change the sex into X and then you graph it. Oh, this is. Mm. Such a meaningless paper. Three years invest thirty thousand for a further six years in a second account. For now, I mean, this is also not difficult at all. This is again just normal simple interest. So I'll compound quarterly for six years, and you want it to be this. So again, you Graph that one plus x over four hundred to the power of twenty four. So the uh, L is five point two four. Row two four. Three six five right. D D they also want two DP, which is five point two four. 